modern triptych. The image shown might be considered a modern triptych, an artwork made up of three associated sections that can be appreciated together. Our triptych is made of a main central image with two crops taken from its left hand and right hand side. The left hand crop has been placed on the right hand side of the main image and the right hand crop has been placed on the left side. Both of the crops have been slightly rotated. All three images have been placed on a black base which is two times the original image width in pixels plus 200 pixels. The width of the original image is 3648 pixels. So the black base was set at a width of 7,496 pixels. The placement of the images was done by eye using a trial and error approach. More time would need to be spent on tweaking the final image to make it perfect, but this video shows how this can be done. So, let's see how this was achieved. First of all, we add a white border to the original image using the padded area set to 30 pixels. Next, a solid colour node is set to a width of 7496 pixels. The height is unaltered and the default colour black is used. We now place the bordered original on top of what is now a black base using a place and merge node as shown. We use our eye and a bit of trial and error to roughly size and position the bordered original. We don't need to achieve perfection at this stage as we can tweak things later. When we are relatively satisfied we can then create a crop of the original using a crop node. Watch how we adjust the crop parameters. Once satisfied, we click the Apply button on the crop node. A white border set at 30 pixels is applied to the crop as before. Again, we use a place and merge node to size and position our first cropped image. Our eye and trial and error are once again used to roughly set the cropped image on top of the black base with the main image. Note how the effect creator moves the cropped image over the corresponding part of the main image and drops it down a little so that the width can be more accurately applied. Note how a slight rotation is applied. The second cropped image is applied in the same way as the first cropped image. Let's just watch. As you can see, we have an opportunity to make more adjustments to each of the three images. The result depends on how skillfully you place things, trial and error, and of course on how good your eye is.
When a reasonable result has been achieved, we can accept and press the publish button to give a better view of our result. Note how the effect creator moves the cursor over elements where there might be discrepancies. By right-clicking on Custom Effect and choosing Manual Edit, we can go back and further tweak our design to make it better. This tutorial stops before all the imperfections have been sorted, but hopefully it gives a good insight into the nature of the process. This is only one idea, and it's not meant to be prescriptive. Have fun as you develop your own ideas.